you know, as as the victory uh, scholar, I was responsible for working with kids in the community. I also was able to receive my master's, and you know, as a bonus, I got to play the game I love, basketball. So this right here was a no-brainer for me to be able to have this experience, and you know, I hope the scholars take uh, next year and you know use it as a catapult to uh, better themselves and hopefully benefit the kids that you work with over in Ireland. Um, and while receiving my master's was very important and you know it's going to help me out tremendously in my career, I think what was most important and what is the overall theme here tonight is working with these kids uh, in the community who have been divided through religious beliefs over decades and I got a quick story here. Kind of my first feel for what this was all about was the first day we started the e-hoops program and we were breaking the kids up in groups, we were doing activities, say get in pairs. So just so happened there were odd numbers and one kid was Catholic, one kid was Protestant, they were left out and you know I just went over to and I said okay you guys work together. The kid goes, I'm not working with him. I'm like, what do you mean you're not working with him? I'm not working with him. I don't like him. So that was a real eye opener for me to see that and actually be there to witness it. Um, so really working with these kids, I had to emerge myself into their head and see what exactly they were thinking, you know, how they operated, what they believed in. And um, this allowed me to grow as a leader because in the past, I found myself in leadership roles at Bucknell as a captain for two years, and I mostly led by example. You know, if I wanted other guys to get in the gym, then I would get in the gym. But with these kids, it was more than that because I didn't know what they were coming from. I didn't know what their house was like or what their, their beliefs were about. So I had to really connect with these kids, and that allowed me to grow, and I had to open up communication with them, which really... Um, allowed me to understand where they were coming from. And in the end, I found out that we were really a lot similar than we thought in the beginning. Um, and it, really my message to these kids were that sport has been my catalyst and it's taken me to Ireland. I've gone to Italy and played uh, with Bucknell. Um, I've gotten my master's, I've gotten my bachelor's, and this is all because of basketball. So I try to tell these kids Find your passion and run with it. And they've really taken it on board. And just to go back to that story where the kids wouldn't pair up with each other. Last week was my last week with the, the kids in the eHoops program. And those two same kids worked effectively and efficiently on coming up with an activity plan together. And to me, that was a great accomplishment. You know, just coming from... 20 weeks ago where the kids were like, I'm not working with this kid because of his religion. And then 20 weeks later, they're working together. So that to me just encompasses everything that the program is about. Um, so that, you know, that, that's just great to see. Sorry. I'm really excited to be one of the first female athletes to go over to Ireland. Um, when I'm at Limerick, I'm going to be studying marketing, most likely. Um, I'm looking forward to just working with the kids and trying to build that relationship, um, helping these underprivileged kids kind of build themselves and kind of set goals for themselves so they actually um, have something that they really love and really want to, really want to, I just want them to be determined to make something of themselves in life. You know, I'm just expecting so much after hearing uh, such an inspirational speech from uh, Daryl Shazer, how he felt like he, you know, connected so well with the uh, children, at uh, risk children over in Ireland. Um, you know, I can't think of a better opportunity than to continue my education, my playing career, and also working with that risk children.